Hey guys, this is part two of the GMC 2020 Half Ton Sierra 3.0 liter Duramax diesel review. I am cruising down the highway uh, here on the north part, northwestern uh, part of Missouri, uh, on my way to Minneapolis, Minnesota from Atchison, Kansas. I am currently, as you can see by my gauges, I am running 70 miles per hour. Um, it is in 10th gear, it is pulling right at 1600 RPM. Um, I have a fully enclosed 7x12 trailer behind me, uh, loaded with about 3,000 pounds. So, um, doing really well. Um, I've driven on this strip so far 63 miles, and I'm getting right at just at 16 miles per gallon. Um, pulling this fully enclosed trailer behind me. I'll show you that here in a second. As you can tell, I've already got over 10,800 miles on this truck. I bought this truck in December of last year and uh, obviously been driving quite a bit here over the last uh, few months. Kind of this is what I do for a living. I put a lot of miles on the truck and uh, this is the first brand new truck I've ever bought myself. Um, so anyway, hey guys, the, the controls on this 2020 GMC are super convenient. Um, as you can tell, it still has the gear shift right up here on the column. Um, that is a truck for me. I, I don't think a push button should be in a truck. Um, I'm more along the lines of old school uh, give me a gear shift either on the middle console or up here on the steering column. That works great for me. And up here, if you wanted to go to manual, you do have the gear shift right here, the two buttons right there to do the gear shift. Otherwise, what I really like about the GMC and Chevrolet um, is that all the controls to drive, if you wanted to drive one-handed, are on your left hand. Speed control and everything is right here on the left side of the steering wheel. The blinker and all of the, the um, windshield wipers are right here on the left side. Um, your headlights and everything are on the left side. So uh, if you wanted to drive one-handed, left-handed, um, you could do that with a GM. I know that's kind of petty and kind of weird, but it, it's just a cool feature that the GMC has. So as you can tell, I flip back to the main screen, which gives me my speed limit, uh, as well as my current speed, how many miles I've got to go on my fuel tank. Now you can pick what you want on that home screen. GM allows you to set that up. If I scroll to the right, now this gives me my fuel mileage on this tank. Uh, this is trip number one. Trip two is actually my all time. So I have driven at 10,878 miles and I'm averaging 21.5 miles per gallon over that entire trip of 10,800 some odd miles. That includes pulling a trailer multiple times, both a 25 foot camper uh, that weighs dry weight around 5,600 pounds. Um, and then I have a couple of car trailers I pull. Um, I've pulled several of those. I loaded the most I've had combination weight has been 12,900, uh, which means that trailer weighed right at about 7,200 pounds. Trailer and weight, excuse me. Um, and then I've pulled uh, this enclosed trailer I've got behind me a couple times as well. So then you got fuel range, that's pretty normal. Oil life, I'm getting around 7,500 miles per oil change. Tire pressures, air filter has a monitor on that as well. You can pick everything you want to show up on this scroll screen. So when it comes to information, you can pick everything you want. Brake pads, it gives me a life on the brake pads, which I think is kind of cool. Economy, so this is the last 50 miles. My best is 39.3 and my current Last 50 miles is 15.5 pulling this trailer. This is distance now, gap distance between uh, what it's set at for my adaptive speed control. This truck has adaptive speed control. I can set that gap distance right here. So now I've got the gap distance set as far as it'll go. I can bring it back and bring it back even further right there. So that's gap distance. This here's a heated steering wheel button. Uh, over here is my push to talk for phone and hanging up on the phone right there. So I'm gonna to continue to scroll. There's my fuel filter life. Again, it's expected to get about 50,000 miles out of that fuel filter. Um, that's the anticipated um, replacement. So those of you that say, oh my gosh, that's so much more maintenance than a Chevrolet, than a gas. I would argue that you should be replacing your gas filter about every 50,000 as well. Um, the pricing for the different filters is no different. There's very little difference between a gas fuel filter and a diesel fuel filter when it comes to cost. I'm gonna have to change lanes. Someone left a trailer here in front of me. I'm gonna change lanes real quick. Also a new feature, I didn't know if anybody knew this. Ooh, he uh, lost a wheel and uh, didn't get stopped very quickly. Um, whenever you put on your blinker and you just bump it when you're pulling a trailer, the GM, and I don't know about Ford or Dodge, but GM blinks six times, two, three, four, 
five, six, and then it stops automatically. If you're not pulling the trailer, it only blinks three times. Pretty cool little feature, didn't know if you knew that. But while you're pulling a trailer, if you just wanted to bump the blinker to go right or left, it'll blink six times while you're pulling the trailer to change lanes. Um, other features, so I wanted to go over here to the radio feature here while I'm cruising down the road. And uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this is what my, the first home screen, I can slide it right and it starts a whole bunch of apps that I have. I do it again, there's more apps, and I do it again, there's the other apps. But I'm gonna flip to the trailering app. This has a cool feature where I can program and set settings for each trailer I pull. This is currently set up to pull my enclosed seven by 12 trailer. And since I've been pulling this trailer, since I've ever had it, which this makes the fifth trip with this trailer, um, I'm averaging 15.8 miles per gallon pulling this trailer. That is pretty damn impressive if you ask me. Um, this trailer is, uh, again, it's, it's five foot tall. So, or excuse me, six foot tall, so I can stand up fully inside of this trailer behind me. I'll give you a shot of that in a minute. But that just gives you an idea. So I can go to every different trailer. There's my dad's blue trailer, which is a car trailer, as you can see on the description. Uh, there's a guest trailer, which is a tandem axle, fully enclosed trailer. So that will give you, you can set up a setting or a, a, a profile for every trailer you pull. And that allows you to keep track of brake gain, which set is down near for my truck. I have brake gain uh, built in electric brakes, so I can set that differently for each trailer. And every time I set up a trailer, I can save that as a profile. When I plug into that trailer, uh, my truck detects that a trailer is back there and it will automatically ask me which profile do I want to set uh, my trailer to. So if I've already got that profile set up, it'll set and remember the brake gain settings uh, for that trailer. So to me, I think that's really cool, a really neat feature. You don't have to try to remember where you had your brake gain set. I do have my brake gain set differently for different trailers. So the brake gain for this small single axle trailer that does have electric brakes is much differently than my camper, which has tandem axle, uh, is much heavier and, and that kind of thing. So um, it's just something to think about. Uh, it's a pretty neat uh, setting that GM has on these trucks that have the fully, uh, that have the, uh, the full trailer package, max trailer package. So anyway, you can see the controls for the middle of the dash. Um, it has two USB ports, that's USC and a USB. It also has a power port right there that those always have power to them, always. What's also a really cool feature, it has a 110 volt plug-in right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can turn that on and off right here by this switch right here that tells me I can have power. There's also one of those in the bed of the truck where I can get power. Now here it's got uh, hill descent control. Here it's got, it's, uh, um, that's your traction control. Here's your emergency flashers, electric tailgate is there. Automatic stock feature for the engine, I've got it turned off. There's my park assist and there's my lane departure warning. So there's all the different controls there across the bottom of my, uh, my instrument panel here in the middle of my console of my truck. It's got two glove boxes, plenty of storage. I got uh, storage space on both sides of the center console. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, and uh, just all kinds of centers. There's the center storage. It's got a compartment inside of it. Multiple pockets on both doors where I've got plenty of stuff stored. Sorry, I got a little bit of chips in here and stuff for my trip. Um, and then uh, I'm going to show you behind. So behind me, there's all, I got one seat folded up for my, my baggage and stuff back there. A couple boxes. And then you can see my trailer behind me uh, right there. So yeah, that's my GPS telling me I'm going to make a left turn here in a second. So anyway, uh, but wanted to give you this uh, part two series video of the interior of the truck. While I was driving, in case you didn't notice, I, my voice is really loud, so I apologize for that. Um, I don't have to talk near that loud in this diesel truck. It is so quiet. Um, it's super easy to drive. Um, it's super easy to have a conversation. To turn left to I-35 north towards Bethany. Yep, I'm headed north here on I-35 off 36 Highway. So I am uh, getting ready to make a left turn, and I'm actually going to keep this on. I'm going to flip the, the phone back around here in a second. Um, there's a truck in front of me now that really won't work very well. Um, but the acceleration of this truck with this turbo diesel inline six, three liter is impressive. Um, that's probably, I would say the most impressive feature I've had so far with this diesel is the overall performance. Uh, the fuel efficiency of this engine is tremendous. Um, I, the trip home from Minneapolis, uh, from to, back to Atchison, on the way down here at 400 and excuse me, 504 miles uh, total, and I got 26.1 miles per gallon 
Um, pretty dang impressive for a half-ton four-wheel drive truck, in my opinion. So as soon as we get a left turn arrow, uh, we're going to blast off here. And I got this truck in front of me, so I'm not going to be able to kind of show you how quickly this truck can go. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it live here for a second. So when we do make a left turn and we do get going, I will show you how quickly I can get up and go and, and get around this truck once we get down on the interstate. Um, the, the power, there's no lag with this turbo. This turbo uh, system on this new 3-liter diesel Duramax is a VGT turbo. In other words, it's variable geometry uh, turbo. So the turbo fins adjust with demand, uh, which provides for em maximum efficiency and maximum power. Uh, this, ra this motor is rated at 460 foot-pounds of torque at 1300, excuse me, 1,500 RPM. So that's a very low uh, RPM to achieve maximum torque. And it sustains that torque um, clear over 3,000 RPM. So I'm looking over my shoulder here. I'm going to get my blinker on to make sure this trucker in front of me knows me. I'm going to blast by him. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on the throttle a little bit here. You can see the speedometer just climb. There's 60 mile an hour already. Um, again, I've got this 3,000 pound trailer behind me, fully enclosed 7x12 trailer, and I just flew up to 75 mile an hour in no time at all. So very impressive. Um, this thing can just get up and boogie in no time at all. Um, and uh, it's very, very impressive. It's a great truck to drive. I'll give another part series on it, uh, another video in part uh, three. Uh, I will deal with an empty truck, no trailer behind, zero to 60, as well as a quarter mile run uh, on this truck. I will find a nice safe space to do so. And then I will record and do that for you. Um, the overall performance of this truck is just phenomenal. Way impressed. I've had a Ford. Um, I test drove the Dodge before I bought this one. And uh, this performance of this truck and the way it's just, it's just an overall truck is just really, really impressive. And um, I'm looking forward to driving this truck for a really long time. Part three coming up later. See you, bye.